going to share with you a midge adult fashioned after Brian Chan's uh, Laney McDonald. This is a Tiemco 900 in a size 20. I've got uni 17 knot white thread tied in behind the eye and bring it back into uh, just above the point or so before it starts to bend the hook. I'm taking, taking some cochlear fibers, about a dozen or so, and we're tied in at the back. I am going to create a little bit of a bump of thread to lift up those fibers. So where I'm tying in the thread is right in front of that bump. I'm drawing my fibers up to the top of the hook, and as you can see, that little bump of thread is going to push up my, my tail for me. Bring it up to the front. Take off the extra, excess fibers. Back, bring it back into the tie-in point. I have a piece of thin white, it's probably one millimeter white foam, and I've colored it with the tan marker on the top. I'm cutting a little bit of a taper into it so I don't have as much bulk at the back end of the fly. Tie in the foam. And this is going to be my the back of the fly. Chan uses um, deer hair, and I just went to a more modern material. I just held up better, and I like the profile better with the thinner, thinner tail. Now I've got a piece of peacock hurl and tie it in. I'm going to wrap it in as my body. And I'm going to wrap my peacock curl up to the front, concentric circles, concentric wraps. As you can see, my peacock curl's a little long. It goes right, well, I like it long. It goes down to about the tip of the hook. Grab some hackle pliers, getting a little short on the peacock curl. What I'm doing is I'm letting the hackle pliers, I'm not holding them or pulling it, I'm just letting the weight of the hackle pliers keep tension on it. And tie off the peacock. I'm going to stretch that foam over the top of it. I'm going to take a piece of done Whiting's done hackle, mid set. It's a mid saddle, size to the hook. Trim off my excess and just wet finish.
cut off my trim off my excess thread and I've got a little bit of hair in there or feather in there so I'm just going to trim that out I always have issues with uh, not always but a lot of people have issues with cream being up on the, the eye of the hook so I'm trimming it away and I'm going to push it back just a little bit make sure I got better clearance Now I'm taking out the bottom feathers, fibers of the hackle. I like to sit down in the, have it sit down in the water pretty well. And just push back the fibers a little bit from the eye of the hook, just to give it a little bit better clearance. I'm going to take my marker and touch up, just to give a little bit more brown, show sure tan color to it. And that's my midge adult.